time to welcome to the CHFI studios singer, songwriter, arranger, producer, Berkeley <laughs> College of Music wow. alum, wow. Mr. Charlie Puth. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you. That's. I wish I could get that introduction every time I wake up and look at myself in the mirror. Well, really. I'm a, I am for hire. Well, thank you. I, I will come to you. Yeah, I, I thank you for your <laughs> service. You have just the most amazing career in the past 18 months. Thank you. It feels pretty, I, I feel feels super good. fortunate. It feels really, really feels good. feels really good. It really does. Yeah. Uh, you had a full scholarship at Berkeley. That's right. And then uh, you posted a video to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then the folks at Allen called. That is the best story in the world. you got to share that with everybody because I'm not sure that all of our listeners know that story. It's pretty it, It's pretty crazy. So like sophomore year, um, I, met, I did have a full, I, I, I did have good English to start off this morning. I, I it's had okay, a, it's 820. I got a, a full scholarship to Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Mass, and I love that place so much. And uh, um, I had Ellen actually herself call me up one day, and I thought it was a joke, and I hung up on her. And then uh, she called again, and I was like, Haha, very funny, and called, hung up again. Picked it up. It was Ellen, and she was like, please don't hang up. It's Ellen and so-and-so and producer so-and-so. We want to bring you out on the show to perform this uh, cover that uh, you put up on YouTube. This seems to be blowing up. And uh, then I met her, and then she signed me to her label, and it all started there. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. No record executive found me first. It was Ellen DeGeneres, so I'm always going to be her friend. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that is one of the most amazing stories of all time. Yeah. And, of course, you came to um, our uh, our minds with the uh, Wiz Khalifa right, right, right. song. See and you and again how did that easy. happen? You got asked to write that song. Is that not right? I did. It was, yeah. it was, it was a bit like a homework assignment. I, I, I walked into the studio, and I was like trying to get signed to... Uh, I, I tried to get a publishing, uh, uh, you know, uh, a publishing contract where uh, you write for other artists, and um, I was trying to prove myself, so I put my best foot forward, and uh, uh, they said try writing for uh, Paul Walker. The, uh, the the they had to change the end of the movie to yes. honor Paul Walker legacy, mm -hmm. and uh, I wrote this in ten minutes. I didn't know Paul. Um, myself, but I had a friend who passed away, so I knew uh, what it was like to lose somebody. So I think that's where the and you just channeled all of that, and and that isn't that the best way to have a song is like it just yeah. kind of flows. Yeah, you, you can't, don't have to work. You, you can't force uh, a hit record ever. No, and, and an emotional song like that. It was a very emotional song, and uh, very emo everybody comes up to me. You know, if I'm at Tim Hortons, they were like, "Oh, it made me cry." And I'm like, how did you know <laughs> it was, it was a me singing <laughs> at Tim Hortons? You hear how good this guy I know. is? Yeah, and how I, long have you been in our country a bit i think uh, a day now oh, I love he already it. knows tim hortons is the place to go they have nutella crepes or something <laughs> oh, like that. He likes it's an that. easy call there we go. are talking with charlie pooth who is in town tonight at the mod club which is a very cool space on college street very uh his album his debut album nine track mind mm -hmm. is fantastic thank you i understand you never attended parties in high school because yeah. you're a self-confessed confessed introvert i am a self-confessed introvert that's a very good way to put it i i i <laughs> I have no problem admitting admit, admitting that I would go to high school Monday to the Friday, and then every Saturday I would drive up to Harlem, uh, starting at seventh grade. Well, when I was in seventh grade, I, I wasn't driving; I had a, a driver, yes, uh, or a lady who drove me. Uh, and uh, I would do music school uh, in, in Manhattan School of Music until like nine p.m. Have McDonald's. I very healthy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'd drive home and uh, kind of work on music the next day, and then just continue normal high school life. At what point did you uh, th that you were somewhere that it happened that you went, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. What was the moment that that really rung out to you? I think um, when uh, the first award show that I played it was the Billboard Music Awards, and That's I, big. Had, I had never played at an, at an award show before. And uh, See You Again was nominated for a lot of things. And uh, I just remember the, the curtains. Uh, I, I remember being very confident at Soundcheck when it, the audience was empty. And I was like, I can do this. Yeah. And then I saw, like, Robert De Niro in the front row. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly it's all different. It's all different. Yeah. And wow. I think the first time, like, I got uh, cornered by paparazzi, like, th like th people caring about where I was eating. Like, that's, that, that I still, I'm still not that's used odd. to that. It's that very, is kind of odd. It's very odd because we're all human. It's like, why idolize another human when you're literally very, you're, you're very similar genetic makeup. Uh, we all have noses, ears, everything. I just don't understand. So, now, so now, go oh, ahead. I was just going to say, Charlie, Charlie Puth is here with us at CHFI. Do you remember saying this? Your guys' support on One Call Away is everything. If it goes up to number five, I'm like, 
I'll get like naked or something. Or I'll <laughs> oh my god! I'm just, <sighs> keep spreading the word on one call away. So we just want you to know that it hit number very, five. You're no, very lucky uh, because uh, <laughs> this rate rate this red hot minute here in Canada. It is just below number ten, and it gets updated <laughs> tomorrow. So had you come to our studios tomorrow. Yeah. You hey, might have had to be butt naked. I would have had to be yeah. butt naked. I would have, I would have gotten a nice Canadian leaf to put over oh. the, the private area. Though. <laughs> that very was very nice. funny. That was for one call away, and that was a shout out that you did on YouTube for right. for fan support. Yes. So as you move around in all of these circles, you're talking about Robert De Niro being in the front row. I mean, you're seeing with uh, Megan yeah. Trainer, and you're mm-hmm. hanging out with all kinds of really cool people yeah. in your phone. This red hot minute. Mm-hmm. Whose number do you have that you just can't possibly believe? It's like I can't believe I have his phone number. I feel my, my my new friend Selena Gomez. I feel oh, she's the she's most great. she's the most amazing girl in the world, and uh, um, I, I just can't believe I, uh, I I met her and we have a this great song we did together. Yes. She's so talented. I'm just very happy to have worked with her. You're living the dream, man. You are. I, I think so. Some some days I'm like, oh man, this is like pretty <laughs> overwhelming, but it, it's what I worked for, so. And it's what you love to do. It's really what I love to do. And well, that the, is cracking the code right there. The Crack. Mod, the Mod Club tonight is, have you been there yet for your sound check? I haven't, but Sean Mendez was telling, I was texting him oh, right before. Great. I was like, I'm in your homeland, buddy. Yeah. And uh, he <laughs> said, dude, you're playing the Mod Club. That's where the weekend play. That's where I, I used to play there. Um, now, so everybody really has, has done like pre-shows there. Keith Urban, uh, we've had John Mayer. I mean, everybody John has Mayer. been, he's been there. I am so, driving a, Oh, yeah. man, that's John oh, awesome. okay. It's a really cool uh, little intimate venue. I mean, I know it's sold out for tonight, so mm-hmm. everybody who has tickets are very, very lucky. You're going to really yes. dig the environment. It's a lot of fun. So it is sold out. However, is. people who um, uh, couldn't get there still come anyway because I, I come outside and say hi to everybody oh, at the bus. Oh, nice. I really, that's nice. I, I, I love my Canadian fans. I love all my fans. So. Okay, so yeah. that's good to know. Mod Club yeah. tonight, Charlie Puth. We're going to have you sing your latest song. That's right. Coming up after commercials. Yeah, one call away, Charlie Puth, live from the CHFI studios in mere moments.